Topic under discussion is pyrimethamine. Uh, in this discussion, we'll talk about the medicinal of the pyrimethamine. We'll discuss the structure, the mechanism of action, the IOPAC, SAR synthesis, therapeutic uses, and much more if you ask us in the comment box. We'll tell you about that also in the comment section. Well, so this is all about our today's discussion. We will talking, we'll be discussing with you guys about all these points, okay? So pyrimethamine, its structure. From the very first point, what is its structure? And uh, well, before going through the entire discussion, we know this point very well that pyrimethamine is one of the anti malarial. Okay, we are using this to treat malaria. Uh, so, coming to the point that is structure, uh, how to discuss the structure? Uh, well, discussion is going to be according to me, that is actually the simple and easiest way. Suppose you are asked in exams, draw the structure of the pyrimethamine. So, how will you draw? Very simple, uh, you will draw this way. No. Yes, you will draw this way, obviously, but I'm telling you guys the trick name through which you guys will become able to draw the structure in a super duper easy way. Now, what is that trick name which is going to help you out while drawing the structure of pyrimethamine? Pyrimethamine, from now onwards, you will call this pyrimethamine, not pyrimethamine, you will call this pyrimethamine chlorobenzene. Why? Because this is the name through which I will be able to draw the structure. Got? So this is actually the, the trick name. Now, how this trick name is going to help us? Let's know that. How? Simple. Pyrimethamine chlorobenzene. Now, just first of all, do one thing. That is, split the entire terms, entire words, whatever you call it, entire names, those two names we have. So now just split the names. Pyrimethamine, I can split, and I must split this name into one, two, three portions. Number one, pyrimidine. So from pyrim, I will take pyrimidine. From eth, I will take ethyl. Amine is just simple. Write it here, amine. So I got three words, three terms, three names from this one name. Now let's come towards this name, chlorobenzene. What can I get from here? Chloro and benzene. Just write here, chloro and benzene. Now what can I get more? Simple. Just once again, do what? Assembly. Now just get these all together and make another thing that is a structure. How like? Very simple. I hope you know the, the pyrimidine. What is pyrimidine structure like? Very simple. It is just simple. Just concentrate on the board. You will get the entire structure in a very easy way. Yeah. First of all, I have pyrimidine, ethylamine, chloro, and benzene. Now just concentrating all these, I will get the structure of pyrimidine. Uh, pyrimethamine. So what is pyrimidine? Simple. We have this kind of structure. If whenever we get this kind of structure in the medicinal, we call this as pyrimidine. One nitrogen, carbon, then nitrogen, then carbon, then carbon, then carbon. So this structure is actually what? Pyrimidine. Then we have ethyl. Now just go for ethyl here. It is C2H5. Then we have amine. So now what we got here, amine, where should I place amine? Simple. Nitrogen having one, two, three. Valency is satisfied. Now, just we have three bonds for the nitrogen. Come toward the next, this corner, and we know about this point. Whenever we see corner, by that we mean the carbon. So, here we have the carbon. Uh, valency of the carbon is four. One, two, three, satisfied. Fourth is remaining. And just with that one, right here, NH2. Now, let's come toward the next nitrogen. Here, one, two, three, it's valency satisfied. Now, let's come to the next point, that is the, this corner. And by corner, we mean the carbon. So, carbon we have. For the carbon, we have four bonds. So it has one, two, three, and the fourth one is just here. And with that, put a mine. Okay. So we got two of mine here. Then remaining is chloro and benzene. So for that, uh, you might have got the practice that chlorobenzene will be actually on the uh, one bond. So this bond is actually here. Now, here again, we have carbon. For that, we have one, two, three, and four bonds satisfied. Just go for the what? For the chlorobenzene. So now this is the structure of the chlorobenzene. Got? So I think we have uh, got the entire structure. Yes, we are done with the structure. Simple. So how we got the structure? Just recapping the entire discussion. Pyrimethamine from now onwards, I told you guys to learn pyrimethamine by this name. This is actually the trick name. Why? Because this name is going to help us to go through the structure. Hey, this is actually going to help us to go through the structure of pyrimethamine in an easy way. How like? Very simple. Trick name is pyrimethamine chlorobenzene and then after that, 
while concentrating the trick name, I am able to draw the structure. How? Like, I will split the entire word pyrimethamine chlorobenzene into pyrimidine, ethyl amine chlorobenzene. So I got all these from these two names. Pyrim stands for pyrimidine for me, and it stands for ethyl amine then chloro stands for chloro and benzene so i got these these words these terms from these two words then while concentrating these i will just draw the structure and i got a structure and the structure is just similar to this one which is actual structure of the pyrimethamine so this is how we can draw a conceptual structure of pyrimethamine by I mean of the trick name i hope you got well now let's come towards the next point that is the mechanism of action so here is the mechanism of action we have discussed this mechanism of action in our another lecture that is regarding the sulfonum iron trimethoprim its structure mechanism point of view well if you want details you can go to that video anyways coming to the point making it shorter uh pyrimethamine its mechanism of action is just simple what is that mechanism of action simple simple it is actually inhibiting an enzyme known as dihydrofolate reductase when this enzyme is inhibited then what will happen simple plasmodium needs its folic acid for the purine pyrimidine synthesis and we know when purine pyrimidines are available then they are able to go and synthesize dna what is dna made up of simple the basic units like uh, this is actually playing a very important role purine in pyrimidines they are playing important role in dna synthesis so dna won't be synthesized if we inhibit this enzyme so now how this enzyme is actually uh, having its pathway let me give you guys a little bit uh, shortcut identification or you can say mechanism of uh, this enzyme that how it is functioning very simple uh, mechanism of action is just like when PABA is interacting with the parathyridine uh, enzyme is there known as dihydrotyroid synthase by means of which there will be the synthesis of dihydro di hydrotyroic acid and on that dihydrotyroic acid another enzyme dihydrofolate synthase will enter that that will have a kind of interaction with this enzyme and this enzyme will then convert this dihydrotyroic acid into dihydrofolic acid now this folic acid is in the dihydro form it will be converted into tetrahydro by means of an enzyme known as reductase enzyme that reductase enzyme is actually dihydrofolate reductase so if this enzyme comes here then tetrahydrofolic acid will be synthesized and if tetrahydrofolic acid is synthesized it is actually a precursor for the purine and pyrimidine synthesis so if purine and pyrimidine is synthesized then the dna will be synthesized so now what our drug is doing pyrimethamine it is actually inhibiting dihydrofolate uh, reductase so when this is inhibited then there won't be the folic acid available there won't be the purine and pyrimidine synthesis and at the end of the day there won't be the the DNA for the particular <coughs> for the particular plasmodium excuse me you can see in short plasmodium won't be synthesized so that is all from my side regarding mechanism of action I hope you got so in short what is the mechanism of action pyrimethamine is inhibiting dihydrofolate reductase then we have IUPAC for the IUPAC SAR synthesis therapeutic use please go through this contact number plus nine two three four zero eight zero six double zero eight one you can ask us okay here this is actually a okay thank you for watching